welcome back to Wall of Worship and welcome back to my channel. How you guys been doing? I'm doing fine. Thanks guys for the support and all this opportunity to uh, give you some good looking uh, content. I am a content creator and I will try so hard to please you guys. I hope that this it will be entertainment and we have a huge pleasure to watch Mr. Crow. Mr. Crow is another regular uh, player. Why? Just look at this beautiful flag. It's the pirate flag. What that is means is rank one. Now, I'd like to uh, say something about this uh, ship. I own her, and for me, personal, this is my personal opinion, folks. The best cruiser in the entire line are Bujoni tier six, Chapayev tier eight because of the radar and the rate of fire and uh, invisible fire I think all the sub was invisible you see from the max range you still can shoot your enemy and you're not spotted because this ship has detection by 10 no I'm serious 10.2 with the concealment expert Oh man, this guy does not have the concealment expert. All right, that's kind of interesting, but he cleverly used this island. This is absolutely nightmare. Now, something else I would like to talk about this ship. And basically, more or less, all 152 millimeters uh, cruisers like uh, Cleveland, Bajoni, and uh, they're in the near future, they will be very, very scary ship because you have opportunity to have uh, the captain's perks that allows you to pan your uh, enemies cruisers destroyers and battleships even m you gain basically plus uh, 30 percent he penetration what that means folks you're gonna absolute wreck the destroyers and uh, even though the uh, chance to put your enemy on fire it's minus three percent minus three percent it's a very little price to pay for additional uh, uh, penetration value now something also uh, else it's about uh, basic firing training basic firing training today it's one point and it gives you 10% better AA and 10% uh, faster reload if your guns are up to 139 millimeters uh, but that basically means folks if you take that particular perk that you gain additional 10% barrel AA this ship does not have the best AA in this game uh, at tier 8 I do believe that Kutuzov is much stronger fleet export uh, escort, escort I'm sorry escort uh, cruiser but folks that I try to say is that it won't be easier and this is she does not have to be I ate the um, it but in the near future in the next patch she will gain even better AA and Kutuzov will have better AA and um, uh, Cleveland will have better AA and stronger AA and basically which means that cruisers will be strong and the same thing with the consumable i'm talking about this um, fighters uh, you have radar so it's not uh, for this ship but i'm, I'm saying if you have a, other ship like a japanese cruise or something then you will get 360 seconds two fighters around you and uh, of course if the battleship want to take the same perk what well, that perk for battleship get nerfed you only got 60 seconds the cruisers have 360 and two fighters so all that all that's what i'm trying to say cruisers will be much stronger to do their job the, the job is, and believe me and she in the next patch the chapel will become uh if you especially spec her for aa she will become a fleet escort with aa that i do believe uh, and uh, something also else it's that you have this opportunity to, to spec her with better HE penetration and uh, you can invisible fire so all in all it makes her pretty decent good cruisers and of course you have to know when to push you have to don't show you ever your broadside to any battleship because you'll be heavily heavily punished 
the rudder shift is not that great she doesn't turn like a Japanese uh, Mogami or Zao no she doesn't but it's not terrible either but what uh, makes her kind of a strong especially versus her tier 7 and tier um, 6 ships that the rate of fire and the accuracy of the guns they are kind of flat Russian uh, Stalinium shells they will hit the target you don't have to lead that much to hit you see this uh, destroyer we hit uh, was kind of a far more than 60 kilometers now Bayern yeah Bayern it's a good uh, brawler good ship for tier 6 but man when you're facing a tier 8 uh, two cruisers, oh man, they would melt you. You see what I'm talking about? Fire. Maybe this captain's going with demo expert, maybe he, he does. Unfortunately, the demo expert will be heavily nerfed in the future. Um, yeah, you gain 3% right now, in the future you only get plus 2%. Um, and 2% that particular perk it's competing with all other goodies you might take something else beside the, that particular um, perk because 2% it's in my opinion not worth it it might be worth it if you have you have, if you are a destroyer or someone who has very very bad uh, like like uh, uh, maybe a destroyer us destroyer which only have like five percent so five and seven percent will be a huge difference but for cruisers not that huge of a deal this is my personal opinion you may have another opinion uh, it's fine okay folks we're doing bad really goddamn bad why 242 versus 431 and nobody kept a b or c we are going to cap C maybe in a couple of more 23 more seconds. Start bad. Everybody's pushing like crazy. Bliskavich is pushing. Now there's something makes her very strong. It's the radar. Uh, your concealment with a full spec it might have uh, this ship 10.2, but the radar it's 11.2, which basically means that. Uh, yeah you can spot your enemy and if someone this is the truth let's say if a destroyer comes sneaky sneaky I want to spot you well if you come within 10.2 which means your radar uh, uh, radar uh, range and then I pop the radar and I try to nuke and kill this, this destroyer this is how I play that makes her kind of a strong uh, cruiser even though Cleveland, uh, New Orleans it's, has somehow better um, radar because it's it less almost double as much well, around close to 40 seconds or 35 but the problem is that it's a whole lot shorter your range the radar range are much higher it's 11.2 um, if I'm not mistaken okay this is a sticky situation for we find cap C but man we are behind points we have behind ships we have behind oh, there's there's all the enemy are at B most all the enemy are it, it basically it takes folks uh, uh, miracles to win this game that's for damn sure Orleans uh, man it's it's hard to you're kind of stick together the enemy so none of our just are kind of alone uh, even though we are trying to put this uh, New Orleans on fire and maybe take him out one more fire on this Graf P. and two more <laughs> fires <laughs> okay two more fires while well, we did that to and full almost AP, uh, AP Shan horse. We received our first hit, which kind of uh, amazing if I'm telling. We dealt 63,000 and we now only received the first hit. It's kind of uh, obvious that we have to run. No BBs pushing. Do we have any BB left? No, all BB died. There are only Nagato is left. 
this is one of those games the enemy have a huge advance and they go in now this Bliskavica for C. I do believe that he's uh, had two big balls in my opinion. I know you can pop uh, smoke but I ha we have radar. We stay still there so we can kill you because uh, someone has to pay with that uh, ball decision. Now we only have 8 more seconds, maybe 2 more salvo before she disappeared. And we received Confeder and she was gone. This is the life you pay as a destroyer if you don't pay attention to a uh, radar cruiser. Because once you stay still in your smoke field, that kind of uh, safe, you're not that safe. Okay, this is bad news, folks. We don't ever want to engage uh, Shan Horse. The only really good thing about this uh, battle is that engagement. The Shan Horse does not point our uh, the guns on us because otherwise we will actually get wrecked. 5.5. We ha only have four kilometers torps. The Chapaev's uh, brother, the sister ship, it's uh, Kutuzov have eight kilometers, and we only have four. On, they are not that fast and only three of them so now the kind of a weird situation is that we change to AP because AP will do 8200 damage to this dude and two torpedoes and two flooding so now he's uh, turning bad man someone is shooting at me after a, a half hour <laughs> well you're dead he did not pay attention, man. <laughs> he uh, one salvo he did 8,300 with AP, and then a couple more se seconds he received two torps, and then he, may maybe there's time to uh, engage this dude <laughs> who actually wrecked me. <laughs> oh man, that was hilarious for this Sean horse. I'm not saying that this uh, Sean horse player was. Uh, well, I'm not gonna say you too much, but it was kind of hilarious. <laughs> we received Confederate and dev Devastating Strike, and we kind of need that uh, kill. Why that? Because the enemy, they are pushing like crazy. We put one more fire to this dude, Colorado. And folks, we basically have to go and cap B if we gonna have some chance. Or kill all other... Okay, this is bad. Grab P, it's at B, we cannot stay at B, we cannot yeah, either uh, engage the Colorado, even though, well, he's on fire still. Oh man, this is, this doesn't look good, folks. I do like this captain where he's, uh, uh, I'm talking about the placement, where are you for a moment? What kind of ammo you're using? You're using AP. Why are you using AP? Simple. Graf Spi, it's a cruiser after all. Even though she has battleship or Shan horse guns, she's still a cruiser. And cruisers will pay if they show the broadside. Why? It's Citadel, the crap out of him. And uh, the rate of fire, okay, 4300 was not uh, any penetration. I'm talking about no Citadel, but was a pretty good salvo. Remember, there's only, okay. Yeah, this is the angle for you folks. We received some damage, but man, that was not something impressive. The angle was just perfect, and this dude could, could not uh, hurt us that bad. It was very little damage. Now his angle, we change back to HE. And he's uh, running away. We actually, to win this game, we have to kill him fast and go uh, uh, cap B, because it's 464 versus 771 which basically if you don't do some killing fast this uh, game will end even though there are two versus one uh, he's uh, on fire okay now he's changed back to HE but very lucky that we changed the direction in the last second and folks for first time we might I'm just saying we might angle 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 we might have a chance if we put this dude on fire or something because this this uh, Amagi has more than 50,000 uh, HP pool and uh, those guns of Nagato it's not a joke they can set a uh, citadel even uh, us even from uh, bow on but he was going for uh, behind those rocks, he doesn't want to engage us. Very bad uh, play by our uh, Akatsuki. What the hell is he doing there? 
man sometimes i wonder if all the destroyer captain they do their job unfortunately the answer is no folks we had some um, uh, help from york but from akizuki he should be uh, way 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 closer to b or to a to secure the damn win and we receive wither which is nine one hundred seventy two thousand hey, he's still burning is he not anymore but basically here folks it's a tricky situation if this amagi is smart there's a small chance they actually might still win the game he only has to sell away and um, oh someone spotted him maybe the destroyer spotted him because look at this it's more than 300 uh, hp uh, i'm talking about the 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 time between those uh, and he he has a chance all he needs to do is kill us and he secured the win right because if he was doing right now one killing the timer will go up to close 900 oh my god he's just selling straight and we, ooh, we receive a huge goddamn damage almost 10,000 damage we receive from this dude which is a lot but uh, okay we don't want to get stuck here in this uh, damn island six shells no pen whatsoever the remember the reload time of those oh, secondaries open up we are on fire folks oh oh man he dodged everything beside one but he is now on fire and uh, the turret traverse are slow but his secondary open up okay close quarter yeah well we might run him folks we are going for a dum 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 we secured the damn win here that's the end folks i hope you enjoyed this one